Norwegian alpine prodigy Lucas Bratton is young, charismatic, and fast. After winning his first World Cup at age 20, he's just getting started. <laughs> We're so lucky to ride the lift with you here at Copper Mountain while you're here training. Tell us how much you like coming to America. So much. Um, I was really sad when we get, didn't get to do it last year due to COVID. So getting back here in Copper, uh, getting some real training, both GS and some Super G with the boys, it's been awesome. Good. You the snow is perfect in Colorado, isn't it? It is. It's something that is nowhere to be found in Europe. That's why I enjoy it so much. It's so unique to skier. You feel like a world champion. Okay, wait. I want the world to know who you are. You are a World Cup winner at age 20 years old. That's wild. That was, uh, that was an amazing day. It was. Um, I put up a plan with my dad when I was around 10 or 11 years old. That was the first time I ever told him that I wanted to become the best. And we had this long-term goal where I would be established in the World Cup by the age of 20. And it was a dream come true, being able to do that. It was so amazing to just see all the work getting paid off, that it actually pays off to all the sacrifices that you've done uh, throughout the years. For my dad to experience that, that has been with me all the way along. Everyone else supporting as well, my teammates. It was amazing. You are becoming more and more famous, and so, I'm so I feel so privileged to have an interview with you. But it's your ski results, but it's also your personality, and, and your passion for the sport, and your passion for life, and your smiling all the time I see you. So what makes you like this? The source of positivity, happiness, is I think that's the key of, you know, skiing fast and enjoying life uh, of skiing. It's, it's so much more to life than just red and blue gates, you know? The, the real thing that actually makes me happy about skiing is uh, getting exposed to new cultures. It's uh, meeting new friends. It's exploring places like this that is nothing like home. That's what really gives me joy, so yeah. Oh, I love it. And I think that, I mean, the younger racers looking up to you and seeing how much fun you're having on the slopes and competing and doing well and being open, I think, it's really inspiring the younger generations, and that makes me so happy. Thank you. That's cool to hear. And I'm a fresh member of Team Oakley, which is awesome. That is, by the way, that is uh, truly a, a childhood dream. So when they reached out to me uh, last season, and I was able to uh, actually be a part of such a strong team, where it's both my friends and my, you know, my role models. Everything from Henry Carlo as a free skier yeah. to Alex Kilda to Michaela Schifrin. The diversity is really what uh, inspires me, and it's the creativity in that team. And I'm super blessed to be a part of that. And um, yeah, I'm yeah, grateful. I mean, you're just grateful for all these opportunities and, and the support. I mean, I would never imagine, you know, when you start off skiing, um, <laughs> you know, when you're a kid, you're just dreaming of getting free stuff one day, you know? <laughs> just the discount code is, means so much. <laughs> and now I'm at a point where I could be a part of building the brand so while it's building cool. my brand as well. That is so cool. Yeah, I, what in your technique makes you go so fast? Like you were talking about the giant ball turn that gets me so excited because I love technique. What? What do you do that's so good? Right, so I grew up obviously uh, watching a lot of YouTube. Um, the access to social media through my generation, you know, was heavy. So for me to watch Ted, Marcel, all these legends growing up, I learned so much from them. So I remember especially learning a lot from Ted with his explosive skiing. And what I, what's fascinating is that, you know, his revolutionizing of, of skiing, that inspires me so much. I want to do that myself. So my goal is really to have the fastest, fastest arc on tour. The fastest arc. Believe it or not, this is fulfilling a childhood dream. I've never been to Woodward and ever since I saw it when I was like 10, 11 years old, I always wanted to go, and today is the day. Tell us what all the other things you do other than ski racing. Everything that could uh, give me some adrenaline. I'm an adrenaline addict. So everything that does, you know, cliff diving, surfing, everything where I can push boundaries, I love. Okay, so on your Instagram, I see you upside down more than a right side up because you're always flipping off jumps in Norway into the fjords. It's so gorgeous. 
Why do you do that? You need the adrenaline. I ski half the year, it's summer the rest of the year, right? I need, those days need to contain some adrenaline. You did get injured last year, but you've come back strong. 100%. I am a strong believer in something called multi-potentialized. It's the fact that, you know, whether it's art, it's music, or, you know, whatever it is, somehow this can relate to my path as an alpine skier. I learned so much from other branches, from other people, from everything. And it helps you grow as a person, so you're just not also worrying about your skiing results. You have other things in your life. Exactly. You know, it's like, it's all about balance. So for me, it's like, if half my life is skiing and the other half is all my other interests, if it gets too much of skiing, all of this will fall off. And then the balance will be off, and then my skiing falls off, and then I have nothing. So for me, it's all about balance. Oh my gosh, that's, a, that's great. That's great advice for all competitors in every sport. I think so too. I think that goes for everything. Uh, what are your goals this year for skiing? My goals this season is uh, for sure, first it was a comeback. Just make that start, finish a result, get back in. Lucas, bro. And that went well. So then I'm off to the next one. And that is to basically do consecutive top tens, top fives in the technical distance. In the world, in the world. It's in, wild. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and then next year, hopefully, I can add up to some super duper plus. Are you better in giant slalom than slalom? So that is also a big goal of this year, to increase the stability in, in slalom so that I can finish in good results uh, all races, not every other race. Okay. Mm. Lucas, thank you. You too. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>